There's no doubt the focus this week will be on the Fed's decision on interest rates. But before we get to that, let's take a look at some key economic data coming out on Tuesday that could influence the Fed's decision. U.S. inflation figures for May will be released and they're expected to show easing price pressures. The overall consumer price index for April rose 4.9% from a year earlier, which was the first reading below 5% in two years. For May, it's expected to come in even lower at 4.1%. This reading bodes well for what many are expecting the Fed to do on Wednesday, which is pause on rate hikes. Economists expect the Fed to leave the rate unchanged at 5 to 5.25%, but surprise rate hikes last week by the Bank of Canada and the Reserve Bank of Australia have shaken sentiment on the Fed's move. If there is a pause, how long will it last after 10 straight increases? Many say a pause in June is not a stop and a hike is expected in July. Welcome to Advisor Look Ahead. This is a weekly series where I get you up to date on investing and financial news. In earnings, we have two computer software giants reporting this week. Oracle will release its fiscal Q4 results on Monday, followed by Adobe's Q2 results on Thursday. Oracle is expected to show steady demand. It's seen as doing better than most large cap software providers in a tough spending environment. Growth above 50% is expected for cloud infrastructure amid competition from Amazon and Microsoft. Still, economic concerns could hurt demand for new licenses in the first half. Adobe is forecast to show stable creative cloud demand despite slowdown fears. Management also didn't raise the sales target for the year, which is seen as a good sign. Analysts see Adobe benefiting from increased spending on digital transformation with its strong portfolio of products like Photoshop and Acrobat. But its $20 billion acquisition bid for design rival Figma could hurt near-term profitability. That's Advisor Look Ahead for this week. For more news and information, check out globeadvisor.ca.